All right, a couple weeks ago I picked up this guy. What is it, you might ask? It is a camera. Not just any camera, this is a Polaroid SX70 land camera. Things that make this camera interesting uh, are, it is a SLR type camera. SLR stands for single lens reflex, meaning when I look through the eyepiece here, it's reflecting and actually I'm seeing exactly what is coming in the lens, which isn't always the case on a lot of cameras. Uh, this one, folds almost, look how flat that is. That is craziness. Pops open easily, ready to go. Another nifty thing about almost all Polaroids is they don't have batteries. You can't check whether they work unless you have film. These right here, those are the battery. The film itself actually powers the camera. So that's super cool. So. Got this a couple weeks ago. Haven't had a chance to play with it yet. Bought film for it when I was in Houston. Unfortunately, wrong kind of film. Doesn't fit in the SX-70. This is uh, for the Spectra camera. So now I have gone and bought the correct SX-70 film. Very excited to see if this thing works. Right. Holy crap, it works! That is super exciting. I... This particular model has an, a sonar autofocus. So this is really, really exciting. And yeah, it definitely works. So you can also shut it off and manually focus. I'm gonna do a manual focus shot here. Well. Not sure if it worked. Let's try again. Nothing seems to be coming out. All right, well, they are definitely jammed in here. I'm probably ruining this entire roll of film here. Let's see. So part of the way the Polaroid works, takes the picture, and in, in this stuff below here is all of your developing chemicals. So I'm gonna see if I can spread those out here and make a picture develop. May not be able to make this work. So far, nothing on the camera. Gonna try again to take another picture and we'll see what happens if I hold this little guy down here. Well, that time we were able to properly squeeze the image through the opening. Now we wait 20 to 30 minutes. I don't know how instant this is. 
If I've got to wait 20 or 30 minutes, All right, well, all right, I'm going to run outside and see if I can't take a better picture. All right, so definitely have determined the functionality of the camera works. They're just not coming out. I don't know if the shutter's not opening. But, so far I've taken four of the eight frames that come in this at $24, so I just don't know if I want to waste any more right now. So, I'm going to shelve this for now. Love it though. We'll see how these come out possible that when I opened it up to get these two, which were jammed in there out, that I exposed the whole roll and it's all useless. But who knows? Something is starting to come out on this one. This is really, this really is exciting. And definitely something starting to come in on this one. So I, I, I am excited. I, this is the, I think this is a success. A totally successful test of the new to me, used, I mean, this is like 1970s technology. Pull it up and pop it, and you're ready to go. You're ready to shoot pictures. Uh, this could be so much fun to play with if, if it works. If it works, this would be a lot of fun. Now, I got color film. They didn't have black and white. I would much rather be shooting in black and white. I think just for the vintage feel that black and white has and you know particularly if you're going to be using a vintage camera you you ought to be shooting you know black and white vintage photos um kind of getting an image here this is this is super exciting this is this is really exciting for me probably not for you uh anyway i'm gonna let these sit i'm gonna give them the 20 30 minutes and i'll check back and we'll see how they look Well, not quite an image. Definitely not the image I was hoping to get, but definitely an image. I think it's just a matter of a problem with the rollers. So if you're not familiar with the way that instant film works like old Polaroid, back in the back, these little grooves, this bottom part down here, is what actually holds the developing chemicals that cause the image to appear. So what would happen is you'd take the picture, it would squeeze out and the rollers would squeeze those chemicals all over the emulsion side of the paper. Probably way more technical if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you have any sort of photography experience or knowledge you know what I'm saying, but these little pockets on the back contain the chemicals that cause the exposed image here to show up. And I just think it's not getting squeezed out properly, which can probably be adjusted. I don't know how, I don't know if I'm gonna pay any money to do it, but it's fun. There's a possibility that, you know, it will work itself out in time. I've got four more exposures to try to figure it out. But I would say this is much better than this, which is where we started. And for a camera that probably hasn't been used in who knows how many years, I mean, this is like, I would say early 70s. I'm going to look it up. I mean, this is... Wikipedia says the Polaroid single lens reflex land camera was produced by the Polaroid company from 1972 to 1981. So the cool thing about this is I paid $20 for this. 
These sell right now $429. So, all right, well, I'm gonna go get back to doing some real work. This was fun. Uh, check out my next blog coming up sometime soon. I'm gonna have a side-by-side -side flight comparison between my Phantom 4 and my friend's Karma GoPro drone.